Yerp. It's your boy Delatone. We're here for another episode of Yerp. And previously, I was gonna just do Terrence Van, but he brought the other color brother with him. I had to. Yesterday, Nate himself. Colleen. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? Pretty good, man. Pretty fucking Great, good. Man. But better. You good? We can oh, curse. Yeah, we can curse. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, word. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to y'all. Yeah, you got that shit out there, man. Got through that shit out there, man. Y'all, y'all have been, y'all have been grinding, and I admired that shit. Like we're all around the like the same age, and like just to see our age pushing and grinding, it's an, it's inspiring to a whole nother like round. Every time I see like another poster, which I mean, maybe you don't know your names on there, your, your pictures on it, but <laughs> yeah, it's but all when love, I when I see it. your pictures, <laughs> your pictures, I just be like, damn, man. Like it's inspiration for other black men. I, I appreciate y'all, man. Man, y'all, y'all inspire me with a huge deal, man. Nah, we all I feel like that's the best thing though is that you know we all kind of in it together and like the energies, you know, feeding off energy and just building is like right. Right. it's everything. I think us as young people in this time, like we're in like at the perfect time. Yeah, we're the real prime time. It's like the best time. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think this is probably, I, I'll be honest, I think it's the best time for art. Yeah. Big time. Uh, black art specifically, I think. Black art like, young black art, I think it's about of to all, be. Of all mediums, too, like, like of everything. When it comes to music, when it comes to graphic design, illustration, poetry, split, like any, I think of all art, this is the perfect time. Big time. Like, because we have so much to express now, mm -hmm. and there's so many different, like, spaces you can express on. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's, it's great, man. I, I really think it's great, honestly. It's, I mean, help, help my, I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this time. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. the internet came into prime time, but like, social media. Like, 10 years ago, this shit would be mad hard. Like, I give people respect, because that shit had to be hard. You, like, writing letters, or you writing emails that people ain't going nowhere. Like handwritten, like handwritten, like no access. This That's is crazy. a sidebar, yo. Shout out, shout out to Soldier Boy, yo. Yeah, my big time. Son. Yeah, yeah, yo, Soulja for real. We always talk about Soulja that. Soldier Boy is my biggest inspiration. The yeah. originator of this whole shit. <laughs> big time. Everything that's going on. Big he was time. like, oh y'all, oh y'all know what this uh, viral book. Yeah. All right, social solid. Yeah, he, he he literally. That's so real, man. Yeah, I, I'm the, I can make an argument for top ten, but I mean it's it's whatever. Yo, we, a lot of real niggas here. A lot, of, uh, yo, people don't <laughs> understand, but Soldier Boy really, if he was not here, so much so much of Rapidly the fabric, blood. yeah, so much of the fabric of our culture would be different. I'm saying this. You think this, this is a real question? Do y'all okay, think Soldier Boy is the reason rap is the new rock and roll? Uh nah, Wayne. I gotta get Wayne that. I will give it to Wayne musically. However. We needed to be above them on a the platform. At that time when he came out, it was a TRL, Limp Biscuit era, boy band era. He said, fuck that. Ass. Let's go on this. And he was like, shit, nine million views on you? Now he took the youth over. So mm -hmm. now he himself took hip hop over rock and roll in the eyes. Man, man. I can't give that to Soldier though. Hip hop is uh, always been rock and roll, man. To us. Not but to others. What a dance! dance I know that yeah, the dance, dance was, was major. Dance was crazy. We're talking like yo, that was, like really, really that was huge for <laughs> to come from one dude. Come on, man, that's huge. It's a love hate with Soldier. Soldier's my biggest inspiration because the shit is whack, but he believed in it. He believed, and he He's works. worth twenty five million dollars right now. But man, Soldier Boy. Is so if you think you can do something, and Soldier Boy can do it. Yeah. I mean, but he did say booty so big, I can hang my chain on it. So. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, nah, nah, you got to do but, so, like, but this is the crazy thing about Soldier Boy. I think As a rapper, are, though, producer, he's great. Genius yes. producer. Yes. But I think people really sleep on Soldier Boy because, all right, so you come out with the biggest dance song in maybe, five, like, two decades, maybe. It's the biggest dance craze is probably, like, the Moonwalk, if you think about it. <laughs> If you think the Harlem Shake was crazy though. What the it was not as big. No, the Harlem not, Shake. It, it was nowhere. It wasn't near. as big. Nowhere near Soldier Boy. Right, right, no, but it. this is the thing. Soldier Boy then came out um, with Dunk, dog. Dunk was which stupid. Was like, Dunk was when he <laughs> dropped that, that's why I was like, all right, this nigga here sitting on something. No, I remember that. Anytime, anytime oh that came on, yo, Dunk was. It was. It was Come on, was, man. So he dropped the biggest crazy. dance song, maybe that five. 
top five all time. They came out with Donk that still gets played to this day. It gets rotations in any club across probably the planet. It does. Yeah. It, yeah. To this day. Well, what top ten would you put them in? I don't even know what the category would be. Yeah, I need to know the category because I'm like, I don't know. Pioneers, you Pioneers, know? Innovators, Pioneers. Innovators of hip hop? Pioneers, absolutely. I can, I can easily put them in there. I can give you that one. Okay, yeah, I can, yeah, I can yeah, give you yeah. that one. Top 10 innovators of hip hop? Pioneer, he's, there, he's definitely a pioneer because, like, dog, he really, that, that, he's viral up Fresh Prince. Yeah, yeah. Will, Smith, Will Smith changed the game. Yeah, he changed, yeah, he changed, that's changed true. his entire game. Yeah, shout out to Soldier Boy, man. I, <laughs> I would love to meet Soldier Boy for real. That would be dope. Well, to backtrack a little bit because, I mean, we can all, we can talk about hip hop. Every day, all day for me. For sure. But um, to, I'm gonna start with you, Aleem. Uh, where are you from? You yeah, know, it's and, Delaware. Okay. Um, it's lit. Born and raised, North Side. <laughs> Again. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. It's a weird place to be. How, how would you explain your art? How would I explain my art? Yep. As a real one. I had to throw that in there for him. Though. Yeah. Like, how would I explain my art? My art is like. It's like, oh shit! I don't know. I don't know. How <laughs> well, look, I can't I'm gonna throw him a question that's similar to that, but I'm gonna throw you back the same question. All right, right let's do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Explain to the people where you from. Uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Okay. I'm from West Side, though. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My mom's from there. Yeah, so. side. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a weird place, but we're here, and I, I, you know, I love it. Okay, what rap artist would you explain? What which rap artist would you compare to your art? Oh man, we were just talking about this. Yeah, there we go. That's the, man. That's the question. <laughs> it's, it's tough because, like, I, I think of things musically, but then mm-hmm. rap is so is such about personas too. Yeah. So it's like sometimes the personas is like damn. It's like, like wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Like I would love like sometimes like what when, when I listen to music like I want to be like Hope. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I really want to be like Hope. You know I always loved Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay Z to me is like like he's. I think God. it's disrespectful when people even compare other people with. Man, look, Jay Z. We we can talk. I could do a whole. Jay Z is like for real. People want to talk about his music, but his essence and his presence is by far one of the most legendary ever. Yeah. In music. In music. I I mean, I bought Come on, in entertainment or in in society. Come on, Jay Z coming from New York (laughs) to what he is now is outrageous. But like music, I mean, but as an artist though, contemporary like now. What's up, I mean, if your art reminds you of Cool Mo D, then it reminds you of Cool Mo D. But Dad, I mean, it. if it reminds you of like, mm, yo, I honestly like, though, you know what it. I, you know what I'll say. During the time where I really grew as an artist mentally, mm-hmm. was listening to Outkast. Nigga, I was just going. Yeah. The gods. <laughs> the gods. That when I they they were they were the ones that first got the gears turning like I, for words. sure. YKK on zipper. Yeah, when I heard Stank Only, I remember me and my man we I had the edited version and I was like it was like a mystery like it was like listening to it was like on take going on a journey or some shit and it like really made me want to like think a little bit different and then my like cousin showed me like Equimini and all the other shit I was like yo. All right, there's a whole different. So I probably, I would say visually, I try to go like me. That's okay. a huge inspiration. Yeah. All right, we break back to you. I, I guess I should have thrown you that. You saw the other. I was gonna say three thousand, definitely yeah. three thousand. But I remember the first time I started working on Micromedia Flash and Photoshop and shit is when I was trying to like make my own style of Pharrell's graphics. Mm. That's Pharrell. major. Yeah, that's major. So, it's probably 3,000. <laughs> Pharrell. It was, it's 3,000. Pharrell. And yay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's funny. For me, <laughs> for yeah. me I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that sums it up. For yeah. me, I feel like it's Kanye first and then Big Boy. Oh. He, he made it seem, he made it okay to dress and look hood and still be elegant and, and, and intellectual in your mind. Mm-hmm. I had never seen that before. Oh, like wait. until he, he talked like that, and I was like, this is, "That's why I like seeing Killer Mike now." Yeah, like, oh, 
Yeah. It's warm my heart though. Like like real shit. They 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 were everything to me. Right. I did. So I think yeah, Outcast. Yeah, I remember when In Search of came out. That Girl, changed my whole stupid. life. That changed my whole dog. When I say changed my life, <laughs> when that when that came, another album I remember getting and opening the packaging, and I remember just uh, Shay on you know on the front the front. Right, right. And that was me. I actually saw like I was like yo, I didn't listen to it yet, but I knew what I was about to listen to it was about to be great. You know what I'm saying? So like Pharrell. Definitely has to be number two. Definitely floats a lot more. Yeah, I got the same list. Yeah, got the same, <laughs> yeah. List, man. same list, man. Well, um, I, you guys have been obviously like, very active in, well, not just the Wilmington art scene, but a lot of art scenes around everything. Shit everywhere. <laughs> honestly. I'm surprised you guys are actually are in the South by Southwest. I was, I was like, I was like we stunned. Had a, man, I'm I had a play, man, man but I, I wasn't paying for the tickets. Yeah, well, I, mean, I, I feel you. Like, like, and the bus was like 48 hours bus trip. On Greyhound, I was like, nah, that's my dog. That's a little <laughs> Nah. I, can't I was like, the fact that he was like, you can do Wednesday, I was like, this thing ain't going to be a South by Southwest. Unbelievable. I didn't even plan to do anything this week. I was like, I know everybody. Every artist is probably going to be a South by Southwest. Next year, we're going to be there. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm I think next year, we got to go to Airy. We got to be there. Everything. Yeah. I, sure. I made the homie Mike went there last year for the um, art week for mm -hmm. South by Southwest, like the week right before I guess music. Instead of, instead of like, like, it's like the atmosphere is it's got to be crazy. stupid. Like, it's a bunch of literally like thousands of artists just walking, talking, and breathing. Like, it's, it's, you see, that's what happens when you're in like best in something, like, and trust the artist yeah. to make it dope. You know what I mean? Because now that's a culture that's going to make them billions of dollars in Austin. I know, I know, I know Austin's happy. The economy oh, yeah. is very they make happy. All for types of money. Stuff. It's just like art basil, man. It's, it's like, like is making. Yeah, you were talking about that. They you got were you guys down there? Yeah. Oh yeah. We had like a, it? we had a hell of a time, man. Yo, we had. It was a magical trip. Yeah, probably one of the most legendary trips I've ever been on. What for sure. made it legendary? Nigga. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> man, let me tell you, y'all. Tell him. You tell him, man. Yeah. Well, well, the thing is, though, we, the thing is, we had no like the whole thing how it came together was just crazy. So like this all started. I didn't really even know nothing about the art basil. Yeah, honest. I ain't no shit. I ain't no shit about it. I sold a painting to a lady in Philly one time, and um, she just took a liking to me. Like, we just became friends. You know what I mean? She was a, a older black woman. Like, okay. I think she just kind of saw me as like a young black man, wanted to help me out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some yeah. reason, shout out to my grandma. For sure, <laughs> man. Um, and but what happened was she lives down in, in Florida. She, and she's in the art crazy, and she gets four free tickets to Art Basel every year. She lends she, she you tickets? But she, so she just liked me and my girl so much. She just like loved us being together so much. She was like, I'll give you all the two tickets. So it was like, this is crazy. But this was like way months off in December. It was May at the time. So I'm like, I still gotta get, we had to make money to get there. So man, I grinded all summer. Save all this bread. Then we got the we got the plane tickets, got an Airbnb. I was like, yo, Lane, dog, I don't know what you got going on. You gotta come down there. Make some way down there. No, the week of he got a plane ticket. <laughs> Literally, the week we had no, he ain't even had nobody. He just went down there a day before me. So he didn't actually even know like we didn't you know anything. There. We was just there. Yeah. So then we got there. I guess I'm gonna try to keep I'll I'll can do a condensed version, but we got there. The shit was incredibly lit. Like <laughs> there was like it just popped off. Like we was like looking for Bud. It just showed up in our hands. Like, that was the best. The best ever. <laughs> that's, dad, that's the best. Yo, we dad, dad, for it. We both dad for the first time. Like for free, they gave yo. It so was we, just love. My first dad, man. Yeah, yo, sunny, sunny man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so we're like bug. This we're bugged out. Not four hours off the plane. Like it's crazy. So then after that, we go on this whole spree of looking for stuff, finding all these different parties. We're getting into these celebrity parties just by asking, getting email codes. We're like on Instagram looking looking for different shit that's popping off, emailing people. Man, it just, it was crazy. And we had no expectation. So, I mean, I walk into one party, Swiss Beats, Alicia Keys right now. I'm like, hey man. I remember that. I remember you posted on some of the social network and I was like, 
and this and separately. <laughs> separately, we wasn't even together. We was cause it was hard trying to like, meet up sometimes. I met Swiss. It was at Swiss's art gallery. I heard people like Swiss. It was like a, just a sheet. I'm like, what the fuck? Ain't nobody trying to talk to him. So I, I peek behind the curtain. I just like start waving my pictures. I just brought all I brought was my book bag and some prints and some artwork. And he was just like. Oh. Swiss and Maxwell was back there. <laughs> Smoking. Smoking. <laughs> Gave him some art. And then... <sighs> how we met Russell was crazy. Yeah, man. Me and Russell was like... Yeah, top ten. The re... <laughs> yeah, top oh, ten. I mean, we we're gonna have to run that story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you holding right. off on Russell Simmons. Alright, so... Yeah. Me and... I was chilling with some girl. We were about to go to the salon party. But we were in this hotel to use a bathroom. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> we was at this hotel about to use a bathroom. And I see, like, Tiana Taylor walk. I see all these people walk. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I need to get into this park. <laughs> so the girl kind of some people, but she didn't. So we snuck in a party. Russell Simmons was holding a party for this art competition for Art Basel. This girl who was in a competition recognized me. From Instagram. We ain't never met before. Oh my god. <laughs> the beautiful. Yo, this is yeah. all happened through Instagram. Yes. It goes down. So she's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, all these celebrities back there, she notices me, which was like stupid. I look like a bum. Like, I ain't have nothing. Yo, right <laughs> she's walking around. She notices me, chop it up, got her number. The next day, she says, Russell Simmons is having a, um, a brunch. My dad didn't want to come to the brunch. Do you want to come? So I'm like, fuck yeah. So me and Terrence jet down there. For some reason, we the only ones that have artwork and prints on us. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the art, art, like, this is a brunch. Art yeah, well, well, not. It was a brunch for the competition that he was talking about. And, and like, this was a brunch for the finalists. I was actually a semi-finalist. But I didn't make it to this round, which is even more ironic about the whole thing. Yeah, too. it's crazy. Because all the <laughs> this is the brunch for all the finalists in the winter. But we walk in and they're all eating lunch. Nobody's talking. Everybody's sitting there like waiting for it. It seems like they're waiting for an announcement. And we walk in and we see Jermaine Dupree yep. and Russell Simmons. <laughs> and no one's they're just standing there. Just look. Just standing there. And I look out, I'm, I'm like, dog. We're in there. We're there. fucking in there. It's like, I'm he pops the book bag open. We get some shit, and we're like, "Excuse me, uh, Mr. Simmons. Like, we're huge fans. This is like incredible. Like, we're artists. Can you look at this, man? The dude. He's like, "Oh, this is great. This is great." Looks at. He opens one up. He's like, "I've seen this before." He's like looking at. He's like, "Oh, you did this? Oh, let's take a picture right now." And we're no. This is like. Five, five minutes, and five then minutes in there. of us just walking in this happens, <laughs> and and nobody else knows what's going on. They're all looking up, and and after so we he goes and gets his assistant. She comes out, takes a picture of us, big smiling. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, I'm posting this on all my social media right now. This is incredible. <laughs> Who are you? Where are you from? All these things, and we're just like, uh. This is crazy right now. Jermaine Dupree got out of there. Like, yeah, because he was like, yeah, he was he like, because he Jermaine saw Dupree the is. pandemonium was about to happen. Because as soon as everybody then looks up, because he's taking all these pictures all of a sudden, everybody's taking pictures, and then a huge line forms. And it's like, well, where was y'all at? And they was the contest. They was the winners. They was the winners. What's, what's sicker about it is, he posted on his Instagram. And he, how he posted it, he acted like we were the winners of the competition. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, <laughs> I seen the post. The shit was long. I was like, yo, shout these bulls out. Yeah, like, he he got he only got he got the state wrong. So but right. nah, it was Maryland. But yeah. he really tried to put every <laughs> no. detail that we told him in there. So it was like, yo, that was like the illest thing ever because we just literally walked in like we got to play that morning. So within fifteen minutes what? that happened. Of and it's not like we planned for that to happen at all. And then after that Same night we go to another oh, party This Makata museum party five, Not even five minutes A minute into walking in there We see Kehinde Wale Biggest artist in the world right now man so One that, of the biggest artists And that party was insane Chris Bosh walked in Chris Bosh walked in That nigga's huge yeah. Chris Bosh walked in <laughs> He's a basketball player you, know, like, you see him I was, He plays basketball I was turnt 
So it was like seeing oh, a dinosaur was, or something. Yeah, we was acting up. <laughs> but it ended up like, it, we was there for like four four or five days, but it just ended up being like, it was just like confirmation at the end of the year, like, all right, we on the right path because we Keep wouldn't going. be able to get into any of this and wouldn't have been able to have been taken seriously in any of these places had we not put that work in already to get there. I mean, I, we went down there with Prince. Like, I had made, I had made like an advertisement for myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, that I was passing out. You know what I mean? So it was like, we got into these places and it was like, all right, yeah, y'all are dope, you know? So now we we got this this year. This year we got to get in the show. This year is all going crazy. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what we're going to do. But. Talking about shows, um, <coughs> that track a little bit. Um, I guess you got some both into this. I'll start with you, though. Um, with Wilmington right now, the art, I feel like the art scene is getting more. It's, it's great right now. It's, it's sure. booming. However, sure. I do want to see a little bit more progress, but it will come up a lot yeah. in due time. However, how how do you guys how do you right now start with you and feel about the art scene in general at Wilmington? I feel like it's dope, and I just want people to just keep pushing the level, just keep pushing it, just, just be more creative. That's it, really. Cause this just seeing paints on the wall is just boring. For sure. Just push it to the next level, make experiences. Yeah. But other than that, the, the, the art scene is dope. It's getting doper like every day. Yeah, that's that's true. And I think, I mean, it's it's in this beginning phase of like of of I, I think turning into something great. You know what I mean? And, and it's you gotta you gotta give people credit for like we really don't have a lot here to work with. Like it's no fault of our own or anyone that Delaware is a small state. You know, so it's like I think we've done a good job with what we've got to work with. You know what I'm saying? I think people are doing um, great shows. You know what I mean? Like it, it, y'all had. I mean, I I give you you set trip and smash label a lot of credit because yeah, y'all were smash like label. yeah, big time. Y'all were yeah. like the first people really doing having experiences and shows that people like could go into and like and you know had a concept behind it yeah. that wasn't really like based in fine art mm -hmm. Definitely. you know what I'm saying yeah. and now we're getting to a place where psh, man we turning it up so much now it's like psh, we, bro, we bring it's it people, yo our last show we had some people coming from DC okay. some people coming from Is that the one that was on um, was that was that, that one was that the one that was uh, up the street from Extreme Pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was there. It was fucking packed. And that's but the <laughs> it thing is that it's like every time somebody does a great show, mm -hmm. we do a good show. Somebody else does a good show. That means more people are coming for the culture, which er, which that's what's going to pay everybody. You know what I'm saying? They're being a dope culture because people got people aren't like if it's only one guy or a few people, like people aren't going to just go for one guy that long. You know what I'm saying? Like it has to be like a constant shift of energy all the time. And I think we're getting there, but it's like, like, like Aleem said, we all gotta, we just gotta keep raising the standard because other places we go, like when we went down to Miami, it's like there are, there are levels, like <laughs> there are levels, like there's no getting around it. You know what I'm saying? And then women is not Miami. It doesn't have to be, but. <laughs> It's just like we have that we level of talent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that we have the level of talent here, so. So I'm gonna get, get real that. personal with you. Okay. The last couple questions, because we're we're pushing around 30 minutes now. This is great. It's a great great conversation we've had. I think it's a pretty dope, different conversation that we had. For sure. I've noticed how much, because my girl for me is like everything. Right. Like she basically she's like the rock that nobody sees. So right, it's like, right, right. behind the scenes, she basically runs everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> right, like, yeah. Basically, what, like, uh, yeah, I can she's on my it. ass if I don't do shit. Like, you know, like I, if I need that, though. And For I was sure. like, I've, I've noticed, I was like, yo, like, I think I appreciate you more because I see how much your girl helps you, too. Right. And I was like, yo, I'm not the only like, no, like, no, like and I was like, yeah, she's like really on it. Like, to the For point sure. where, like, I mean, there was a couple times, like, you know, I think every show now, you're, you're swamped. People talking to you, something like that. Yeah. And, like, I think the one time I was at a show, and then, and also when we were fully seeing UMG performing one time, mm -hmm. people were like, just, like, you were painting, like, people were swamped. And she took it, at, like, out of her, like, her own like thoughts. She just like you know what? She stood there and gave out your information to people. And said, yeah. You had to stop. And I was like, it's little shit though. Like I saw yeah. that, and I was like, 
Nah. She really brought it. Like, yeah. I was like, this is really Shout out to Kiana, man. That's, like, that's how much How much of that is, like, important to you? Like, I know, like, it's a big thing to you. Like, but talk about it a little bit. Though. Man, well, you know, it's like... <sighs> Having a partner in anything is, is good. I mean, like you need, out, so yeah, you know, I mean, in any respect, yeah. have, having a, having a um, partner is good. But like, I mean, have it if it's if it's your girl that's like at bat for you like that, or, yeah. and, and really supporting you like that. It's just like we just have such a great relationship because we both, you know. Um, Obviously, we have just like a love for each other, like, and that's the thing. It's the love, right. like we love each other. You know what I'm saying? I think, mm. I think people would like love. Really, is everything, man. Like that's keeps people getting up in the morning, keeps people doing everything. And it's right. like, it's like that's my partner. Then it's like my girl. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we have a separate relationship. That's like. That's we go out and eat and do all that. So understand each other. We understand. She understands me more than sometimes I understand myself. Like we know, each, like <laughs> we can predict. That's my life. Honey. So I mean, all the time, like I'm somewhere. I don't. I don't know where my wallet is, and she got my business cards on. It, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's just out of love. You know what I mean? So that's how. I mean, that's like the huge battery to having your best motivation too. Okay. You know, she's a huge yeah. Like motivates me crazy just to like go out and get it. You know what I mean? Because it's like. If you have somebody that's right there, right. <laughs> every day that's in your corner, and How it's like, you, lose? you know what I'm that's, saying? I, I know what she's saying. That's so, why I had to bring. It. I was like, yo, like, I really admire it. Nah. Yeah, five Leave years on, deep. I don't know if you are you, if your DMs is popping or if you. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> okay, I feel you. What? Women, just black women in general, like that's okay. my biggest motivation because mm. they're like the biggest supporters. They Big ride. They, like every almost just this the Russell Simmons thing. If it wasn't for a black woman in that competition, I, we would that wouldn't yeah, have came together. Straight up. Almost every door that's been opened in this art stuff they is care, man. with women. Yeah, and they like care. they just make things happen. Shout out to all the beautiful women holding their men down. Man. Big time. Big time. We, we need y'all out there. Be really good. Before we head out of this, real quick, for for the old school. Mm. PCK. Oh psh. <laughs> Yeah. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? PCK, look man, I got I got tattoo of this man. We should have worn a change. I, I think I got one. Oh, Are you shy? Is oh, that by Charnay? Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> yeah, Charnay. Yeah, shout out to Charnay. Shout out to Charnay. Yeah, yeah, dang, I'm, I'm slacking, but um, yeah, man, we actually you and Mike and them started it even yeah. before. Me and Andre started it. It was a uh, um. Our... For Xbox Live, like gamer tag and shit. Yeah. It's, it started because um, Mr. Me Too. I get so much money that my hand gets paper, like that my parents get paper cuts or whatever. Piece of cake, paper, paper cut kids. That's all it was. And we we really originally started like we wanted to be like a we rap was making group. music. Like we yeah. would have been our future, yeah. but everybody had to go to college and all that shit. Yeah. But music was it wasn't art. Art was nah. real secondary. Sounds music like was. <laughs> yeah, we was dog. We was so locked in at one point because I mean, think like at that time it was like even Vernon was in Vernon, there. Tom, Cop, Colin, Tom. Paul. Like was we went Paul to was a saxophone player. Yeah, Vern? yeah, oh. we went to school. Like we yeah, all I went to school. school. To... I, was, I didn't know he was a piece of kids. Yeah, oh way back, y'all dog. Way like, back, yeah, we used yeah. to just all go over his crib. It'd be like ten of us all sitting in there. Making music, drawing, doing some shit, and then, um, yeah, then like you said, everybody had to go to school, and it was just like, shh. but the crazy thing is, is like now, it's like we all like there was a a point like two years ago, it's like last October, man, that show, yeah, that we did, um, man, me and Elaine, we hadn't spoken like two years, and then like, I mean, we would speak, but it was like we we hadn't we gotten up, yeah, 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 we hadn't gotten up, and um, then he hits me about this show, he was like, dog. One, you can live paint. At the time, I didn't even know how to live paint. I was just like, I'll just come out and just do something. You know what I mean? And uh, the show was definitely lit. Shout out to DJ Ryan Fox, man. That uh, came it, together. Yeah, yeah. The show ended up being super lit. But then, like, it was him and my and our other man, Mike Silva. As soon as it's like we came together, mm-hmm. the show just exploded. It was just like fire. Like I don't even know how. Like people just started watching. People just started asking questions. Like, it was just crazy. And then, like, after that, PCK was just, like, reborn. And it's like, right. boom, just like that. Right. You know what I mean? And then everything after, after happened right after that day. Everything. 
I had my first show like the day after that. Uh, not my first show, but the first time anybody asked me to put art up. Mm. And I was like, oh, dang, something really about to happen. <laughs> and then here we are right now doing an interview oh, on your. Hopefully we get y'all back, man. Let's talk. Definitely. Like oh, for man. sure, man. Yeah, nah, thanks, thanks for having us. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, man. It's gonna this be is your. Um, I don't even know what episode this is, but this is your. It's always good <laughs> shit out here, man. Thank you to Terrence. Thank you to Lynn. We out this bitch. Is that your book sign? My son. Year. Year.